Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Walsh. We've learned a Warren police officer facing a misdemeanor charge for allegedly driving under the influence Sunday is now facing a felony charge as well. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie was in court this morning for Adam Floor's arraignment, and she joins us now with the details that are all new at noon. Okay, well, prosecutors say the 25 year old Warren police patrolman who was off duty at the time of his arrest was also found with a weapon inside his car. The prosecutors say the Warren police responded to Medicom Ave around 2:30 Sunday in the morning after a car crashed into a utility pole, then the front porch of someone's home. Now, during the course of their investigation, police learned floor was the driver and say he demonstrated signs of inebriation. Prosecutors said in court that floor completed standard field sobriety tests. However, However, his blood alcohol content at the time of the crash is unknown. At the time of his arrest, police said Floor refused to submit to a chemical test. Now, while those misdemeanor charges, the felony charge comes into play with what investigators found inside Floor's personal truck. Also during the course of the Warren investigation, it was determined that a Glock 43 pistol was located inside of the defendant's vehicle. At this point, the defendant was placed into custody for suspicion of um, intoxication, specifically driving while intoxicated, and he was brought to headquarters. Now, since Floor is facing a felony charge, the judge entered no plea on behalf of Floor for both the weapons charge and the DUI charge. He was released on personal recognizance and is due back in Superior Court in September. I also reached out to Warren Police and the town manager to confirm what Floor's status is with the department and if the weapon found was staff issued or not. I have not heard back yet at noontime. Live in studio, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.